Hey guys, it's Raspberry Jam Gamer, and we're back with another episode of The Legend of Zelda's The Winds Waker. In the last episode, we just took on this temple, and now we're here just collecting some lubes. Um, the game's actually pretty easy. You just have to watch what you're doing. Oh, yeah, perfect. And it comes And you got the, these, these are the new enemies. They're just really kind of an annoyance, where they just hook onto you. And make you slower. They they they're only bad during like one of the mini boss fights in this dungeon. They're like par just they're just like parasites. They just hook up onto your body and try to control you. Mm -hmm. Oh come on! I need to collect those baboons. I haven't checked part eight. Yeah, I'm still filming this long episode. I just can't have any episodes that are longer than fifteen minutes. Then. If it is, because then it's not a watchable video. Some videos that are, are, are higher than about 20 minutes are, are shorter than 20 minutes. That's the whole reason why it is, because it wouldn't do so well. There's technically no point to get all the chests in the game. They're mostly just stupid maps. And the compass, is for some you don't even need. If you know this game right off the bat, why would you even need a compass? Alright, just boom bomb. Uh, did it reach it? Da -na -na! We got the small key. Yay, let's go. Well, now we can open that door now. The combat system in this game is pretty good. Um, Twilight Princess's combat system is even better. It's just the thing is I had to get used to it like I got used to Breath of the Wild. It only took me a few months to get used to it. Did it go up there? We'll have to use that small key. That, that might be uh, leading to the treasure chart, I believe. I don't, I know the layout, I'm just not familiar with it. I don't think I can come here yet. Because of A, I don't have the boomerang. And I think I just wasted that, um... Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me it's the water temple phobia thing. Where you use a key and you can't use it anywhere else. So, that, that's the thing, you can't get to Dark Link otherwise. That is so... Annoying, really. I thought you could use it there. Well, that's what people would normally think. Am I even normal? Yeah, this doesn't lead to anything. Oh, it just leads to that. So. What reason would you need that for? Yeah, but you need the boomerang. So, that I was going the right way, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, because you get the boomerang from the boss fight. Okay, it's going the wrong way. That sweet butter mashing. We need to hop into that. It doesn't matter. I, I I couldn't get to get to them enough. All right, this is a boss fight. How do you do this again? I thought no. I'm I'm used to the hook shot where you just grab them and they just fly right into you and then you can just hand them down. Get out of here. It, it's weird because when you do the action, it's it's delayed due to the lag of the game. Because there's so much going on. I am not tired. That is stupid. It's just because I'm not familiar with that area. I tell you, I I could have been in that, like, no sweat. And I wasn't going to die over something so stupid. So we've got a boomerang. So we don't actually need the deck leaf as much now in this temple. But we still should equip it on the Y. Am I 
imagine having to actually get closer to stuff. Oh wait, hang on, what? Oh, I'm using the wrong one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> what was using the wrong one? Okay. Alright, that's alright. Yeah, we don't need to jump down there yet. We still got a bit to go. Have we been there? Yeah, we have. Oh no! I, I was I, I thought my I was the thing was still on Y. Can we still go upwards? Yeah, we can. Because we're just not done yet. We have to catch up here. Well, since we've got that boomerang, we could go in this area, get that chart. It's kind of important because, well, it might just lead to rubies, but it's mostly important because we can get other items or just stuff that we might need. Oh, these idiots. You don't even know if they're dying or not. Like, they're on the back, but they normally just flip out. Another joy... What's with all the joy pendants in this dungeon? Like, honestly... Like, how do they even get there? There's, like, some guy who's just like, you know what, I'm gonna... Oh, God, I hate this game so much. What? That's the same out? Oh, my God, it actually confuses you. Um, there's nothing else down here. We promised you that thing all the way in there. How deep is that, um... Uh, what's it called? Maple syrup. It, it literally looks like maple syrup. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. There's no way in heck I'm dealing with them. I'd deal with them if you can just go in. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just not having it. Um, there must be a chart in here somewhere. Wooby. It's always appreciated to have some boobies. Oh, I got that one just in time. At least we've got most of the annoying parts of the dungeon done. Why on the side? Come on, it's cylindrical, it could fall in there. I'm just curious how bombs just don't roll in due to them just being a giant spear. Fall in there! How flat is the bomb? Is okay, now it's working. I'd <laughs> like just let's slide down, so. And we got the chart. Oh man, I haven't stretched in ages, man. Oh. I haven't gone backwards in that. Oh yeah, I have actually. Like going on outside island and find that 100 rubies. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <sighs>